so with that being said, I was like, dude, I want to work for you. Um, you're, and then you're legal on top of that. This is like meant to be. Um, and mind you, I had no idea. All I knew was like, this thing can help you go to sleep like really well. Um, and then he starts, I started learning from, uh, from him. His name is Dwayne Alexander. He owns, um, a dispensary here in San Diego in Ramona, um, Jack's Cannabis. Oh yeah. Shout um, out to Jack's. Uh, they'll be one of our sponsors. Oh yeah. Today. For Cannabis Synergy. So yeah, we're working together. Um, they're sp- sponsoring our second show. Um, so with that, sign me up. So I started working with him. I learned so much. He's been doing it, you know, for right now for like 25 years at that point, like 19, 20 years or something like that. And the plethora of knowledge. And I was just absorbing it all. So how did you start with him? Was it more, um, I started as, yeah, in office, more of a, like an assistant, type of situation I quit my my Navy I worked for the Navy as a civilian and I was like when he's like yeah quit your job I was like just so you know this is not a game I'm gonna quit (laughs) tonight I oh no and I did I called my girlfriend I was like hey you know I know we got a mortgage and everything (laughs) Mm -hmm. do you can I take this leap and she's like and not that I was asking for permission, but clearly we have a home together. I can't be open with each other. Absolutely. And, and we have that type of relationship. So, and she's like, absolutely. And I just never looked back. <laughs> yeah, that's what I love. So what inspired you to start Cannabis Synergy? And so, I yeah, Cannabis Synergy, um, what triggered me, you know, to, to, um, to start that, to come, you know, to create the concept and like bring to bring it to life with people like yourself. Um, it was number one. I must have been smoking some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep all, it real, all day, all day. right? Um, and number two. Um, so I, at that point, I had been working in the industry for like two years when the concept came to my mind. And, you know, mostly I worked with licensing and, um, you know, on the compliance department with that company, um, Prime Harvest. Um, And just like seeing the struggles of the industry and then in parallel, like the stigma and, you know, the more I learned, it's like the more I was appalled at the fact that this is being hidden from people um, that, most, most people, like 80% of the population will go through anxiety or depression or something like that. Absolutely. And quite frankly, I can tell you right now that cannabis helps me remain cool. I'm talking about, um, I know my dose. So I know when, if I take one more puff, because I'm a flower person as well, mm-hmm. I know that when I'm at, at the peak that I'm like, I am perfectly functional, you know, all my senses, um, are there, but also like in the present moment, which I think that is what helps you like calm down because once you're focused in the present moment, you know, you're not worried about tomorrow. You're not worried about yesterday. So it allows you to, that's the one thing that I think also, um, sort of connects with cigarette smokers and that I would like some hopefully cigarette smokers see the research right. and transfer over is it's sort of that same experience is I don't really think the cigarette is really calming you down so much right but it's that act of taking two minutes to breathe and the slow absolute down. we are running around just so much throughout um, especially in America we're overworked more than any other country on just how much we're willing to push ourselves I mean, even like I said, I've worked three jobs since I was 17 just to get what you want. And so cannabis sort of just helps you get separate Mm -hmm. yourself from that. Absolutely. And that's why I think people need to use it more is maybe if we were just taking a couple minutes to ourselves or that hour or two to ourselves, Mm -hmm. we wouldn't be on all these antidepressants Mm -hmm. and have all people on all these medications. but that's also one thing I do think is good as a human is to have, I mean, we want to kill our pain and our anxiety and things like that, but having a little bit of pain and having a little bit of anxiety is what makes us human. And so I don't think you want to completely numb that. 
No, and and not only human, but that's like a sign of something. Because <laughs> so you don't yeah, really right. want to like disregard that or like completely numb it, because that is the way of the body of communicating with you. Hey, pay attention to this, and you know, and then from there you can take whatever or do whatever it takes to get rid of that pain. But exactly. you have to I experience it. This is better than uh, narcotics or mm -hmm. better than pills. Is because I think the pills are completely numbing you. Like, oh, my kid's running around, everything. Give them maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, what's the name for ADHD pill or whatever? The Ritalin or, um, or Adderall. Or... Adderall, yeah. Like I see my friends, and so you have all these people with energy and creativity and passion, instead of running that out and working them out as kids, or like here's a pill, and then they become a zombie and like yeah. no emotion. They're just completely different personality wise. And... Absolutely, but you mentioned something there with the creativity and passion. That's another thing. Um, so besides. Um, so what I was saying earlier about what inspired me for Cannabis Synergy um, was the smoking the good stuff. <laughs> um, also being around all these companies and they were struggling and, you know, but the parallel of also the stigma and then um, that creativity, that outburst of creativity that I would get, you know, while on um, consuming, you know, a strain or whatever for whatever reason, I mean, they weren't on some, you know, maybe like psychedelic stuff, but just like these ideas that would come to me um, while under the influence, and I would just write them down. Cannabis Synergy was one of them, and that, it just kept coming up, and I just kept talking about it to people, and then I met you guys, and, and, and um, boom. Next thing you know, we're like, camera. lights, camera, action. Exactly. Now, I love that, expect, like we're, especially when we're smoking together, I think that uh, connectivity and the creativity mm -hmm. almost bounces off of each other, too. Mm -hmm. like when we're having our meetings, trying to plan for the next episode, I mean, it's just crazy, the ideas that's coming with Anthony right. and Anna and us. Yeah. It's just like, once somebody comes up with an idea, we're adding to it, and how can it be better, and what can we add to make the show more enjoyable? Yeah, like, it's like building. Exactly. Creating, I love it. Um, so is... I would like to ask all my guests, is there something you would really like to say to like a first time smoker or somebody that's mm. like trying to use it or is thinking about using it? I would say this, which is what I tell everybody. Um, you know, once you find your dose and once you, um, you pretty much, once you find your dose, you'll be able to manipulate um, your cannabis use and what I'm what I mean by that is um, you can use it intentionally not once you do your research about what works for you what gives you a certain feeling versus um, smoking and a different strain because for me the way that I do it I'm I'm, the, I'm a stoner 100% um, you know, I don't, I'm not like you. I don't say, I'm a stoner. I usually say, I, I'm a consumer. Yeah, there you, go. <laughs> you know, I got to keep it classy. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm a stoner, whatever you want. A pothead, I don't give a shit. I, I'm a proud um, cannabis advocate, user. Um, I'm a patient, whatever you want to call me. Um, because I personally, I believe that we all use it for med medical purposes. We're all trying to get ourselves in a better state of mind. That's medical. It's F. <laughs> I want to control myself. No, absolutely. You know? But that's medical. As, yeah. as, uh, that's very medical. Even if you're using it recreational, you are still using it yes. recreationally. Like, yeah. Take I mean, away the pain, the anxiety, sleep. Sleep is Whatever. Or take the, pre you know, sp even for spiritual uh, healing. Exactly. Because when you're in that present moment, you're literally like at ease. Mm -hmm. And why not? You definitely, but what I would tell people, like for instance, the way that I do it, I know my strengths for sleep. I know my strength when I want to be productive and need to take the edge off. You know, I know my strength and that, for instance, for that particular focus and, and actually productivity, green crack. For create, you know, to create, whenever I'm like tr stuck writing something, I take a few puffs of, um, um, What's it called? Um, Sunset Sherbert. Oh, okay. 
And immediately I get this, all these things, gems that come out of my brain that I'm like, hey, <laughs> you know, like, let me write that down. <laughs> um, uh, and then for sleeping, skunk berry, uh, skunk berry, uh, yeah, that's usually the one that I go for. Um, so I, you know, I know my strains and I know my dose. And so I use it to my advantage and make it work for me. And it just literally optimizes everything I do as far as everything that I just mentioned. So why not? Absolutely. Um, so you're saying you're a flower girl. What's your favorite way to consume flower? Is it bong? Is it bong? I am a joint a person. Joint? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, the, and the only reason why I'm not a blunt person is because I don't know how to roll them. <laughs> so. See, I'm the opposite. I like blunts, but I can't roll joints. And that's the thing because, like, the bigger, I guess, because bigger hands or so, but, like, I rip the papers. I keep ripping the papers where I blunt. I have more space to work with, so I like rolling the blunt. I'm not going to lie. I'm not that good at rolling joints either because <laughs> I buy the cones. <laughs> <laughs> it's so convenient. Yeah, they are. The cones are really Yeah, nice. so, um, I no, nah, but flowers, my thing. Vaping is very convenient, you know. When, when you're trying to be incognito um but so you're not scared with the whole vaping uh, um honestly you know i'll be honest with you shaggy when you work in the lig in the legal space and you know like the companies that are legal and they get their testing they get their they abide by the requirements which you know are meant are there for consumer protection um exactly and that is just one reason I already knew your stance on vaping. Um, but with that scare of vapes going around, just so you know, uh, like Joanne was saying, we the legal market has to be tested for pesticides, for microbials, and for heavy metals, and, and then also mm -hmm. potency. And the illegal side does not. Um, it was not cannabis that was killing these people or getting them sick. It was the vitamin C acetate that they were putting in cartridges to make them stretch out longer. So instead of filling six carts, you could fill 16 carts or something like that. And so they're adding this acetate, which would, when combust or get hot, would get people sick. Mm -hmm. And so people know the legal market is tested and there's plenty of articles um, that you can research that have backed this, that the legal market is fine vaping that it's the vitamin acid or vitamin E acetate. Mm -hmm. So sorry to step in, but that's just one point I wanted. No, I absolutely. And, and that's why, you know, I trust that. Um, so I know the brands that are doing the right thing. So those are the brands that I consume. So absolutely. And dabble in like dabs or edibles or topicals or anything. anything topicals. Really definitely. Like? I actually have a friend that he, um, pretty much makes his own bomb and that thing is a cure all I am talking about lacerations burns pain cramps if you're a girl cramps if you're a guy because maybe you can get another type of cramp <laughs> but I'm just saying anything I know people that have arthritis that have used it I know people that had nasal problems that fixed their nasal problems with it. I know this lady who broke her ankle, I'm talking about shattered, could not put any weight on her ankle, used Dave's cream, shout out Dave. <laughs> um, David Sean, he's, he knows what the hell he's doing. Um, I'm gonna have to actually get some of that. I am telling you, I got you some hair. You have to be careful with the uh, creams too, because I've used multiple different mm -hmm. kinds, but I will attest to that cream as well, or not today as I had to try that. But attested creams, I've used them mostly on tattoos. Mm -hmm. um, they heal tattoos go oh, from wow. two weeks to three days. Oh, wow. everything, like good to go. Um, but then like you're saying the ankle, I actually broke my ankle in August or I think June, some point over the summer. And I was supposed to be in boot for six to 10 weeks and I was out of boot in four weeks. With Didn't the... take any other painkillers. I used cannabis to smoke and uh, also therapy tonics coffees. And then I used our massage oil that I got from um, Therapy Pure Essentials, which is our CBD company. And wow. just using creams, like, it healed up quick. Oh, I was wow. ready to go. Doctors were shocked. And, I mean, saved me go. a lot of money and uh, addiction. 